Something bad is gonna happen in this town. He, he said, good thing that we've got the Lord had him on a mission. He also said, too, that it was a storm coming. Can you take it off? Sure. That's what we known him at. The boy with the pop bottle on his head. He did tell her about up on the hill. <laughs> Y'all laughing at the child got so It was like, he come out of nowhere. He said he was just a prophet of God coming through. And so many folk got around him, and you couldn't see nothing but the crowd of folk. You couldn't see it. But they didn't, they didn't believe it, that he could take that ball off his head. Then put it back on. And take out a run. It would not fall. You put a pop bottle on there, and it wouldn't come off. He just said, good thing that was because the Lord had him on a mission. They just thought he was somebody coming to curse the place, curse Hazel. He had a more of a, some of them a little fear about him because he had so much knowledge about uh, things before they happened. Two of y'all going to prison, and one of y'all going to the army. He told my brother that he was going to die at a young age. Father, right now, Hitler, in the name of Jesus. Just jump from the bridge. He, he was just like he was walking in the air. He just never did stop walking. And the ball didn't move off of his head. He took me in a room. It seemed like four of them showed up. And uh, I thought I was a whiz in, in uh, multiplication, but I found out he was much greater than I was. I can remember he could tell them when their birthday was. August the 10th. <laughs> in the chair room with throwing rocks at him. And they got in an altercation with him. He, he, thought he beat him up real bad. He would just get up and dust his little cell phone and walk on down the street. Well, Robert Davis knocked it off his head. And he told Robert, he's gonna punish him for it. And he told Papa Ulysses, something bad is gonna happen in this Lewis quarter, and you're not gonna be here to see it. The police told him that if he didn't stop bothering people, that he was going to jail. And he said, you can carry me to jail. He said, but your walls won't be able to hold me. He said, because I was sent by God. They said, yeah, they arrested him and put him in the car and said he got out of the handcuffs and left. And I, hey, J.W. Young, slapped you on my bed? Get jail. Off my bed. But the neighborhood, the Lurus Quarter, he was he was in that neighborhood pretty pretty regular. Next thing I, I actually realized, I said, you don't need to go up on that hill. A lot of them was trying to knock the ball off his head, but they couldn't. He did tell her about up on the hill. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not <laughs> And I said, oh my goodness, that's a long train. I looked out the back door and I said, Margaret, that's my wife. I said, I ain't never heard these many trains running before. I mean, my grandmother made this remark. She said, if it's a train, she said, God driving it. She said, uh, it's a storm coming. It's a storm coming. And I could see the tornado over by the mill. And we went sailing through there. People just crying, hollering. I know something was wrong. The further I got up the road, the worse it got. I was doing the same thing they were doing, in tears. Everybody was just cramming into the hospital. And, and we just had to work the, to the best of our knowledge. Then everybody looked for the little boy. You know, people start saying to themselves, hey man, it could be some truth to that guy. But the little boy couldn't be found. Nobody knew where the boy came from, and nobody knew where he was. Where he went, I don't know. But what they did know was that he walked around with a pop bottle on his head and predicted something bad is going to happen in this town. Something bad is going to happen in this town. The town of Hazelhurst, Mississippi. The boy was only 12 years old. He had enough wisdom in his head to come out of his mouth that everybody thought he was somebody to play with. And now, after 50 years later, his story will be told. The boy with the pop bottle his head. But I'm totally fascinated to know about him, so I can't wait to hear about him. A Steve Collins documentary coming January 23rd, 2020.